Welcome to Shaq's World. My name is Shaq. We have another fantastic sunny day, Sydney, Australia. Today I'll be doing a quick walk around my new motorcycle trailer. I'll be telling you guys why I bought a motorcycle trailer and how much I paid for it. Guys, before that, please smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. So what I'll do is I'll adjust my camera angle for you guys. So as you guys can see, that's my new motorcycle trailer. The last owner told me you can put two road bikes and three dirt bikes. When I asked the last owner why you can only put two road bikes and three dirt bikes, he said the reason is road bikes take more space, dirt bikes don't take much space. So I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I'll probably put it to the test later on down the track. As you guys can see, the trailer is not in the best condition. It's got paint fade everywhere. It's got a rust spots everywhere. Um, this area is bent rust all around here as you guys can see where the jerry can all days the tire is in pretty good condition the last owner told me he got the wheel bearing replaced so i don't have to worry about changing the bearing it's got jerry can holders on both sides as you guys can see and that's the spare wheel as you guys can see however the tire is not in the best condition the tread is gone so I've got to get the tire replaced, as you, get, as you guys can see. So you guys might be wondering, Shaq, if you have a van, that's my van, if you have a van that's set up to transport motorcycles, why would you buy a motorcycle trailer? It just doesn't make sense. When I do a quick walk around my van, it will make more sense. So what I'll do is, I'll show you guys inside my van, and how I set it up to transport motorcycles. So I've got the straps, as you guys can see. This is bolted to the van. That's the front wheel choke, as you guys can see here, and won't go anywhere because it's bolted to the van. And I got rubbish all around the van. Got bottles everywhere, straws from McDonald's, Red Bull can. <laughs> Uh, my vest for my job I've got an umbrella just in case if it rains I've got a motorcycle ramp as well and I've got these hooks as well it's actually bolted to the van so your motorcycle won't go anywhere so if it's fully set up to transport motorcycles what's the point of buying the trailer see one of the downsides to buying a van is it's got a height limit, as you guys can see, from here to here. So whenever I try to put a dirt bike in, the mirrors touch the roof, as you guys can see. So I actually got to take the mirrors off to put the dirt bike in. That's one of the downsides. The second issue is, let's just say if I want to put a Harley Davidson in. Once you push it in, if it's got a monkey bar in, you know there's high monkey bars, it hits the roof. So the only way to make it fit is either take the monkey bar off or put the monkey bars down. Otherwise, it's impossible to put inside this van. So that's why I decided to get this motorcycle trailer. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. I've got more toys coming into my garage. Thank you.